Welcome everybody to my art room, Carol's art room. And in today's video, I'm gonna do a new technique for me. Um, split cup pour. I've done um, ring pours and uh, spiral pours before, but all in one cup, the colors go. This is something different that I just received. It's a split cup, so it keeps all the colors separate. Pours it out in a nice pattern. And it works really good. This is from Tracy Reed of Acrylic Pouring with Friends. She sent one for me to try. So I gave it a try. To, I'm going to give it a try and uh, see how it turns out. So stick around and uh, we'll get started. Welcome everybody. I'm gonna do another split cup. I'm just trying to get the right color combination. A nice color combination. Anyway, so now today I'm gonna use, this is a, um, oh, I just dropped, ba Baby Blue by Americana. And then I have a green, which is a mixture of Hooker's Green by Liquitex Basics and some Metallic Leaf Green by Artist Loft. It's a nice metallic-y green. And I have Prussian Blue, which is Liquitex Basics. some white, some uh, DecoArt metallic white, pearl white. Let's see how this goes. I got it on my spinner. I might not have to fill this. This is a smaller canvas I'm using today. So uh, this is uh, 10 by 10. I'm gonna put, see which way I should do this now. If I put the blue, blue, white, the ones in the middle take more paint, and I don't have to fill it as much. So. white on the outside I think the two blues in the middle maybe or maybe the other way around I'm gonna put the blue and the green in the middle all right so let's see if I can do this that's a consistency it's on the thinner side some of these air bubbles out. Get some more of the blue out. So 
I got this cup from uh, Tracy Reed, and uh, her channel is Acrylic Pouring with Friends. She was nice enough to send this to me to try, so I've been giving it a try. So now I got the blue. They're probably not going to be as good as hers, but... Okay, I think that's probably good. All right. start in the middle. Let's still add some water in there. I didn't uh, dry out my cup. Still had a bit of water sitting in the bottom so I gotta make sure I mix that. Won't hurt anything, but I don't want water coming out first. See how this blue is okay. I'm just I'm just giving it a little stir in there. I just did a pour and I just rinsed this so you have to rinse them right away you don't want the paint to dry because it doesn't come off so I was told so it works good you just have to put the water in it right away give it a good rinse Okay, it's good enough. Oops, I can see water coming out. Oh well.
Oh, it is a lot of paint in there. I don't think I needed this much. I'm going to stop in a minute. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. More of my dark blue came out near the end. Hmm, interesting. It's a lot of white. Oh. Let's see. I guess I could have swirled it around in a circle. Oh, I think I'm losing all my dark blue. Well, it's interesting. Just should we? Oh, the blue and the green were in the middle. Excuse me. I like those blue lines. The beating if I should pour off some of this. Yeah, that's too much there. It's quite different, that's for sure. Lots 
the little air bubbles. But it's pretty. My Prussian blue kind of turned grayish, mixed with the white. Yet I had it on the other side. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to leave it now. It's quite different than my last one, but it's pretty. I think I would prefer a bit less white. This really baby blue took over. I would have liked some more dark um, in there, but it sort of got buried. Probably poured a lot of it off. Interesting. Thanks for watching. Glad you came by for this one. If you like it, give me a thumbs up to my channel and uh, yeah get a cup and give it a try have a good day everybody bye bye Hi, everybody here's my dried split cup pour dried pretty nice it's nice and smooth it didn't move or anything the lines are pretty sharp it's kind of different. I like it. There you go. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.